What's going on, y'all? Check me out here, and I'm currently out in San Diego with Qualcomm and decided, you know, while I'm out here, why don't I shoot my best Android apps video? Because it's been a little bit since I've done one, so I'm not gonna drag out an intro. Let's jump right on into it. Now, of course, everything in which I'm mentioning will be linked down below in the description box, but for the very first app that I have on my list that I've been using is bottom quick settings. So what this does is it gives you these quick toggles to access from a swipe up from the bottom of your screen instead of the top of your screen. So you still can access your regular notification by swiping down, but now when you pull up on the handle, you instantly get greeted with these quick tiles or quick toggles in which you can turn on and off and you can swipe you know, left or right to access a few more. And then you have a few settings as well in which you can adjust about the app. I will say to fully maximize it though, it's a free app, you're gonna have to pay though. If you wanna get features like the option to customize which tiles appear in there, or if you wanna change the theme, those are gonna be the paid features. But you can at least get the basic functions to get you through in the meantime. You also have the option to turn the app on or off. You can even adjust the handle if you want to access from the left side of your screen or the right side of your screen instead of the bottom. And you can adjust the layout as well. So it's pretty simple, but still a very useful and handy app that I feel like some of you could enjoy. Now, before we go any further, I do have to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, SeatGeek. And I gotta say, I'm happy to partner with them because if you've been following my channel, you know something that I've been trying to put a little bit more stronger of an initiative in is empowering women in tech. So when SeatGeek reached out to me with their initiative of what they're trying to do to also encourage women in tech. It was a no-brainer. So what they've done is partner with Flatiron Schools to offer over $200,000 worth in scholarships to women who have an interest in the tech field. So SeatGeek really strives to empower women and Flatiron School provides an amazing opportunity for people from all walks of life to learn how to code, design, and a ton of other things in a collaborative and fun environment. So if you are a woman interested in tech or you know, you're interested in a career change, this might be the jump start there for you. So you can find out more information down below in the description for their 50-50 scholarship. The application process is easy, so there's no excuse. But yeah, definitely check it out. I really hope one of you are actually able to take advantage of it because I love to see other women in this field. There's not enough of us and we gotta change that. And you can start by filling out that app. And while we're talking about applications, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my second app, which is AMOLED Walls. So a question I got a lot in my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus review video is, where did I get my wallpaper from? And the answer to that is this application. So it's pretty nice because it really you know, specializes in AMOLED wallpapers, but they have these really high quality designs in here with these punchy, beautiful colors, very minimal and clean look that I don't know, I like empty space behind my icons and I think these wallpapers within here flow with that because it gives me that empty space within with a pop of color somewhere within the wallpaper. I like the look of a lot of these, but I do want to advise from what I've seen, you can't download the wallpapers. Instead, what you have to do is choose this little paintbrush icon and then apply it to whichever screen you want it to be on. So make sure you definitely hit the heart and favorite those that you like so that even though you don't have them saved on your device, they're kind of archived in case you change a wallpaper and you want to go back to that one. That's what I do at least. Now app number three is One Tracker. So this is a really great solution to track your packages. If you do a lot of online shopping like myself, then this is definitely a must have because this is going to give you a view of all of your incoming packages that you have and even those that you received in the past. And you don't have any ads or premium subscriptions to worry about. So you can literally just add your packages and start tracking. And you'll even get push notifications about your package as it makes its way to you. The interface is clean and easy to use and it's just been a pleasure to stay on top of my packages. Now app number four is Sleep Away. So this one is pretty nice because it gives you once again that same clean interface that we had in the previous app. You can never go wrong with that with me. <laughs> so it's basically a sleep management application that provides two main functions. It's gonna manage your sleep and allow you to listen to white noise. So Sleep Away will calculate your sleep cycles and you can either set your alarm to wake up feeling well rested if you choose to go to sleep in that moment or you can set a reminder to go to bed at a certain time so that you wake up when you need to. It even has one of my favorite options in here which allows you to take a quick power nap, which is useful because sometimes you need that in order to get through that last stretch of the day or whatever you need to accomplish, that power nap, whether it's 15 minutes or 30 minutes, 
can make a huge impact. And while you're resting, you can listen to white noise. So it has a few sounds that you can listen to as you fall asleep, such as rain or a campfire. And you don't have to worry about turning the sound off because the application contains a timer that will automatically shut off the sound after it counts down. And the very last application I have is recent notifications. So this application is super clutch. If you're anything like me and sometimes you, you just want to clear out that cluster of notifications, but you want to go through them at the same time, but don't have time to, recent notifications is going to log every single notification you get so you can confidently go in and clear out your notifications without being fearful that you missed one or another scenario I found myself in is that I've accidentally cleared notifications when I didn't mean to. So yeah, recent notifications can definitely save you in either scenario. So within here, you have an option that lets you look at all of your notifications by app, or you can come in and just look at all of your notifications in general in which you have received. And you can even favorite certain apps or exclude specific apps, change your theme, or you can favorite certain apps so that you have them all grouped together, you know, when you wanna see the notifications from those, or exclude certain apps that you don't wanna log notifications from. So yeah, those are my top five best Android apps right now that I've been using and highly recommend you check out. Once again, they're listed down below. And of course, while you're down there, you know, gotta hit the like button if you enjoyed it and the sub button as well if you aren't currently subscribed. Definitely make sure because sometimes people watch the videos and they don't even realize they're not subscribed or that they don't have that notification bell on. So make sure you keep that same energy on the bell as well. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.